Look, Ben, I don't appreciate your callous attitude, okay? Really? Yeah, really. Okay. You may hold my fate in your hands like a small bird, but I still think you're an ass. You want to get a beer? It's like 10.30 in the morning. Yeah, you seem like you could use a beer. Let's get a beer. Well, have you ever been part of a government body before? Uh, I have, yeah. A small town called Partridge, Minnesota. Why does that sound familiar? You're Benji Wyatt? I am. Oh my god, you were so cute! Oh, well, thank you. What was that song you played at the swearing-in ceremony? Whoop, there it is. Yes! That's what it was. Yeah. Can I talk to you? Sure. What are you doing here? I'm just confirming a suspicion I have, Leslie. What are you talking about? I had nothing to do with this date. Uh -huh. They're both so beautiful, they probably just want to see each other naked. Okay, well, I know what you're trying to do, and you're not that good at being sneaky. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I'm great at being sneaky. Clearly, you're not. Oh, hey! Hey there. I got you uh, some waffles here, courtesy of JJ's Diner, and chicken soup, courtesy of me. I'll take the waffles. Thank you. Okay. So how did the rest of the meeting go? Um, well, you said you needed 80 total businesses to participate. Yeah. We have 110. And counting. So, uh, nice work, Leslie. Nice work to you, too. Oh, uh, left the chicken soup there, just in case. It's a Old family recipe, it's not a big deal, but... Thank you for that. Okay. Leslie, nope. Gets as many favors as she needs. Can I ask why? Because she's the kind of a person who uses favors to help other people. And also, my buddy Dave was the crankiest bastard in the department until he started dating Leslie. Huh, so she... Okay. Are they still dating, or...? No. Moved to San Diego a year ago. Huh. Was it a serious thing, or...? What do you care, you pervert? Nope, nope, I'm all good. Um, everything's fine. This is fine. Hey. Hey, sorry about the whole mess. Like, crisis has been averted, so let's go talk to the chief. Oh, I already talked to him. They'll give us the hours we need, no problem. Great, what a relief. Yeah. Hey, are you hungry? I haven't eaten. You know, yeah, there's a really great Cal's own place over in Idiotville. Oh, really? Down on Terrible Idea Avenue. Okay. Ben Wyatt bankrupts the town and then comes to Pawnee to tell us how to spend our money? There's no story here, Shauna. He's just a dedicated civil servant who's doing whatever he can to make sure that this is the best Harvest Festival ever. And he's easy on the eyes, too. <laughs> Um, what exactly is the nature of your relationship with him? Strictly professional, just friends. So are you colleagues or are you friends? We are colleagues with benefits. We're colleagues who benefit from the fact that we're also friends. Hey. Hey! Um, so somebody, I don't want to say who, it's totally me, got Sweetums to donate another 15 cotton candy machines. Oh, take that curse. Take that curse. Right in the chest. Oh, 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 oh. Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Get a room. Okay, Ice Town was a disaster, and it seems like it was probably your fault. And what I can tell you, mismanaged the hell out of it. Wow, why even say that but right now? The point is, this project, this is as much yours as it is mine. It's ours. And it's going to be really great. And I'm glad you're here. Wow. Thank you. I was actually coming to see you. I wanted your advice on something. Oh, yeah? My boss in Indianapolis, he wants me back on the road in a week. But then this morning, Chris offered me a job to stay here in Pawnee, work for him. Do you want to do that? Well, I don't know. I've been moving around so much the past few years, it might be nice to stay in one place for a while. What do you think? You should stay. Don't go back to Indianapolis. We should stay here. You think? Yeah. Yes. It's a great city here, you know, and there are great people, and you've made a lot of friends. Yeah. And what are you gonna do? You gonna go back to your old job and hack up people's budgets? <laughs> stay here. Help us build something. I already accepted the job. I'm, uh, I'm staying here. That's good. Yeah, I think so. I'm, you know. So I have some ideas for the health initiative. Oh, okay. How about I swing by later and, and we'll just, you know, we'll go over everything? Or we could go out after work. 
you know, go to JJ's or something, grab a bite? Um, I don't, I don't think I can, but why don't we just talk about it later? In this building. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. But uh, you're great, and you have great ideas, and um, uh, bye. I just wanted to make sure that there were no hard feelings after I forced you to break up with Tom. Oh, we were. No, no hard feelings. Because it's just a real bugaboo of mine, and it applies to everyone. Just the other day, Ben told me that he might want to socialize with somebody from the government, and I said, I'm sorry, not possible. Really? Did he say who? Good morning, Ben. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Did I scare you? No. I just wanted to remind you of the art show that's happening tonight oh, yeah, at the yeah, community yeah. center. Great. Well, that sounds cool. That sounds like uh, something that'll be a big success. You know, I mean, like everything that you uh, that you put your 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 paws on, your fingers. Oh, hi. Hi. I was at a meeting around the corner, and some people wanted to destroy this painting, so I brought it here. Where's Andy and April? They're out shopping. What are you doing here? I moved into the spare room. Really? Yeah. Huh. Can I come in? Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Of course. Why do they want to destroy it? Well, it's a, a painting of me as a centaur. OK. And it's a nude. Oh. Just basically like the chestal region, uh -huh. mostly. You don't have to look at it if you don't want to. No, no, no. I... It's very classy, though. Yeah, no, I'm sure it is. You're a level-headed person. What do I do here? Well, I don't know. I mean, it is one of the basic rules of government that you shouldn't offend people. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just, I'm so annoyed by all these rules lately. I'm back here. Me too. <laughs> um... Hey, let... You're nice. I can see why she likes you. When did she say? Likes oh, me. God, this is so high school. Just rent a limo, ask her to the prom. I'm sure she'll say yes. All right. That's Thank you for that year-over-year -year maintenance cost analysis. That was that was really helpful. You're so welcome. I was thinking about you when I wrote it, because yeah. I was um. Because I told you I wanted to read it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good reason. Oh, anyway, Chris wants to see us in his office. I guess we should head over there. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Great. See you there. I'll see you there, Benjamin. Ben. All right, Leslie, man. <laughs> Leslie. Hi, Ben. Oh, hey, Anne. Have you been to the Granville Hotel and Spa? Uh-uh. They have the softest towels. Oh, I gotta tell you, I love a nice towel <laughs> Me too. in my life. I know. It's, I mean, it's the simplest luxury, but it makes all the difference. Their bath mats are amazing. It's like stepping on a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hold on. Hey, come here. Good. My eyelash on your face. I got it. Make a wish. Learning to speak Mandarin. Unit three. Get away from me. Sorry. I'm sorry. Getting around sorry. town. I'm, I'm. I'm allergic to fingers. Where are you going? China. You were really great in that presentation today. Oh, thanks. I like the stuff you said about Pawnee. That was really nice to hear. And Pawnee is a really special town. I, I love living there, and um, and I look forward to the moments in my day where I, I where I get to hang out with the town and talk to the town about stuff. And the town has really nice blonde hair too, <laughs> and it's read a shocking number of political biographies for a town, which I like. Oh God. I'm sorry, and I know we can get into trouble, but I. I, I I can't take this anymore, and, and I feel like we have to at least talk about it. I mean, it's not just me, right? No, it's not just you. Uh, well. Well. Sorry, I keep myself very well hydrated, and my bladder is the size of a thimble. I urinate roughly 12 times a night. I think I might go to bed too, actually. Oh, yeah? Okay. Um, well, look, good job again today. Was... You too. Really? Yeah. Well, that was quick and to the point. Uh, well, actually, I think it's good that Chris showed up, because I wasn't thinking clearly. I love my job, Ben loves his job, and it's just not worth the risk. Oh, hey. Hey. Chris just wanted me to drop off these receipts. Oh, well, he's not here. He took off. 
Uh-oh. 